you know, this is where it's going to be. Another couple of weeks, we're all going to be driving through your town doing 20 one mile an hour, and then bang, bang, tickets through the post. All going to generate money. It's another modern, it's another venture. It's, we're just, being, cars, taxis are getting exploited. And as you know, in this town, and it's never going to stop, you know. There's all these yellow lanes, of all these bus lanes, bicycle lanes. Where is the motorsport? Why are you paying car tax? Why are we paying? Where's all this revenue? Where's all this money going? You know, so the first time I get a ticket, I am going to chain myself to that city hall gates <laughs> and I am going to burn the taxi. What's, what's the point of having a taxi anymore? All right, that's what I have to say. Thank you. The 20 mile an hour, so it'll, it, it doesn't really affect us that much at the moment because, as I say, we don't we won't get over 20 miles an hour most times anyway because of the traffic in the city but what it will affect us have to move up we suppose okay uh, it won't affect us that much because of the set of the, the traffic in the city itself right. but it will affect other people more especially people that don't aren't from the city they're coming in the signs if you can have a look through the mirror there you'll see the taxi sign and then you'll see the 20 mile an hour zone sign it's that small people will miss it it's that high off the ground the 20 mile an hour zones are smaller than the 30 mile an hour zones. This department and this government are hell bent on driving the motorists out of Belfast city to the detriment of everybody. I'm all for passenger safety, but in this zone, there's no evidence of anybody being seriously hurt. This is an absolute nonsense. It's a cash cow to find the motorist and to push the motorist out. Well, first of all, I would like to be very clear is that the enforcement of speed limits is a matter for the PSNI and all fines received go to the PSNI and the Treasury. DRD do not receive any of the funding from this. And I think it's also worth pointing out that the longest length of this is 700 metres and the difference between driving that at 20 miles per hour and 30 miles per hour is 22 seconds, which isn't a long time in anyone's journey. There's clear evidence that as we reduce speeds, we reduce the frequency of collisions and we also reduce the severity. Um, I've often said in the past few days that a pedestrian stuck at 40 miles per hour is 90% likely to suffer fatal injuries. At 30 miles per hour it's 50-50 and at 20 miles per hour it reduces to 10%.